Hey guys, so today I learned that sometimes when you're really nice and polite to people, they'll go above and beyond to be nice back. So I worked until about five today and um, I recently ordered something from eBay and it was supposed to be uh, arriving on Friday. But while I was at work, I got a message and said that a package is going to be delivered to my house that needs a signature. So I called my roommate and was like, hey, um, this package I think is going to come. Are, are you there? And a half an hour later, I got nothing. And then uh, they weren't there. So no package, right? Uh, and it was supposed to be delivered by FedEx. Um, it was a really slow day at work. And we're just hanging out and a dude comes in with uh, a couple boxes uh, from FedEx and he delivers them and I ask him like hey I got a question for you like I wanted to ask him if my package was on his van so I asked him hey is there any place that I can go pick up my package like a FedEx store or whatever and he he said, no, um, what's your address? And I told him my address, and he didn't have it, but um, he did tell me that he could call the dude that was supposed to deliver to my address, and he could drop it off at Walgreens, which FedEx has this program uh, with Walgreens where they drop off packages and people can just go pick it up. So he left, um, and I was like, wow, that was, he went above and beyond. Um, if you had asked you know, a UPS driver, they probably would have been like, dude, what the heck is wrong with you? I got a system, I got a quota here. Why are you even asking me this? But this guy took a moment, answered my question, and said he would call the dude. Um, so about an hour and a half later, we're still working. I'm pretty eager to get this package, by the way. Like, I'm super excited, and you'll, you'll see why real soon. In walks in another FedEx delivery guy, a different dude. And he was also dropping something off. So I thought, maybe he has my package on his truck. I stop him and I ask the same question and say, hey, is there any place I could pick it up? I think I was not around when it was supposed to be delivered and I wasn't able to sign for it. Um, and he basically uh, said a similar thing, uh, but he told me that he was from another area. He gave me a lot more information. He said, um, we're from like an hour south of here. Um, you could go there and pick it up. But then he took an another step further and pick up, picked up his phone and called the guy right in front of me. He called one of the other delivery drivers and asked if he had my package. Um, the other guy did not have my package. Um, but this guy was so determined to help me out that he said he would call his boss. Because if you didn't know, FedEx hires independent companies and groups to be delivery drivers. Um, none of the delivery drivers work directly for FedEx. They work for this company or like whatever company is hired for the areas. So he said, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know this guy um, that does home deliveries. That might be who has your package. I'm gonna call my boss when I leave and see um, if my boss can contact this guy and see if, you know, how long are you here for? <laughs> It was it was the craziest thing because I was sitting there just really just selfish wants is I just was excited my package it would be delivered the same time tomorrow and I would be there to sign for it. I just wanted it that night and two two FedEx drivers stopped and helped me and one went way above and beyond what. I would ever ask of someone so it was just it made me really happy I didn't end up getting my package because I found out after work that it actually wasn't supposed to be delivered today um, it was just telling me hey dude tomorrow you're gonna have to sign for it so you better be around and that's all it was saying it, all that work was for nothing but I really hope that the FedEx driver still walked away from it feeling good because they they went like way above and beyond in, to help me and I'm just really grateful for them and it made me really happy um, and I was just a happy camper the rest of the work. Just 
be nice and genuine. Uh, if you act like you're not trying to get something from someone and you're just honestly, genuinely asking a question and not expecting help, then you just might get exactly what you're asking for. Now isn't that poetic? So what actually did make me sad is I got all excited that my package was gonna like arrive today. Two days early, mind you. Like I said, two days early. Um, and then it didn't. But tomorrow I'll be here to receive it if it comes and it, everything will be fine. What made me happy, um, other than that whole experience with the FedEx drivers, I was able to help that same coworker, Michael, um, build his own PC. So I haven't done any PC building since I built my PC four or five years ago. So it's been a long time and it was just really fun to get back on the horse. And in my opinion, building your own computer is a great experience, but building someone else's computer is even better because you don't have to spend the money. So <laughs> that's what made me happy. And uh, I just wanna learn uh, what you guys learned. So if you got a story about something you learned today, something doesn't have to be major. It could just be little little tidbit of positivity or uh, growth. Just leave it down in the comment section below. And if you like this content, I upload every day. So you can just subscribe and ring that little bell. But with that, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm putting a lot of trust in you. <laughs> Stop it. I'm doing my best. Two. One. Woo! Oh.